What is going on guys, DBG here. And in this video, we are going to be doing another tier list in NBA 2K21, my team. So this is going to be the tier list of the, of the, sorry, the diamond cards in NBA 2K21. And these are all of the best cards in that tier, in my opinion. I may have forgotten one or two players, and if I have, I apologize. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing this tier list today. Saturday is going to be um, the best Amethyst cards. And yeah, that is going to be it for the month. Then we take a whole one day off tier lists um, before... We go right back into the point guard tier list on Mon on yeah Monday's the first of February, so yeah, it's hard to believe we are one month into 2021. It is crazy, like it's just kind of madness. Again, as someone from Ireland, we've been in lockdown all apart from about three months in the past. I don't know. We've been probably in lockdown seven of the last 12 months, which is not fun. But um, yeah. So Alex English, he's awful. I think there are a lot of bad diamonds, so I'm going to give him D tier because he's got an alright release, I guess. Like, from what I remember, Alex English wasn't good, but he wasn't, like, unusable. Like, he didn't have clamps, didn't have range. He, but he does have, like, half quick for his step and stuff. He was alright, I guess. He's alright. AK, S tier. No question about it. Don't like him on next gen. I'm gonna be the first to say that he is current gen made, but he's fantastic on current gen. AK, incredibly good on next gen, on current gen. Not it on next gen, so bonus. He's, he's probably in like the third tier of center, so I'm gonna put him third tier, B tier, because he is a giant and can shoot. So it's not like he's the worst card in the world. He's flawed, but I mean, there are a lot of worse cards than Sabonis. There are a lot of worse cards in this game of Sabonis. Yeah, he's only got like 54 speed or something, but again, at his height, like at seven foot three, it's actually not the worst thing in the world. Having um, like that speed at that height, like he's just all around, he's just an all around good card in my opinion. Um, But he's just kind of outclassed when it comes to talking about the best cards in the game. So Sabonis so is going in here at B tier. And we got Bam out of Bayou. So Bam out of Bayou, or Bam out of the Bayou, as um, Kendrick Perkins would call him. Uh, I don't know. I think I would take Sabonis, but I'm not sure. He's either B or A. I'm going to put him in B for now. I might drop Sabonis, but I'll give him B tier. Ben Simmons. This is like way worse version of the point guy Ben Simmons C tier. He's not great, is he? He's like worse at everything the point guard. Although he is really good defensively. And you can't just cheese with him at point guard. And yeah, I get it. You can, if he's at point guard, people are saying you can lock him up by changing all your matchups. But not really if you're on him at the point, T Mac at the two, LeBron at the three, somebody at the four, and then like AD at the five. Like, you're not going to beat that line. You're not going to be able to beat that lineup at a point with a six foot tall point guard. So, yeah, this card here, he's nowhere near as good because he's a power forward. Ingram. Ooh, I like Ingram. I really like Ingram, lads. I think he's he's really good. Ingram's release is what separates him. He's at bronze range, which is fine. Like bronze range is perfectly, perfectly fine to have on a card. Like obviously, you would rather see range on gold or sil silver, or gold. Like silver range, especially if you're on next gen, is more than enough. Like we've seen it on Cam Reddish, that it's more than good enough on most cards. You would obviously the better, the higher the range, the better. But silver is pretty, it's pretty usable. But um. His is on bronze, again, still pretty good. Dribble sigs are all right. Release, though, it's the um, Jalen Brown release on quick. Really, really nice. The only problem is he's not 6'9", like last year, he's 6'7". But I like him. Brooke Lopez. I mean, S. Can I put him in S? I like him. I'm a huge fan. If you guys don't know, Lopez is my favorite cent center on my squad right now. I green everything with this guy. I green everything with him. Like, you, if you've been watching my nominee Spencer, as you've seen, I've, I come up against some of the best teams in the game, and it's just green, 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 green. Every shot I take at Brook Lopez. He has dropped 25 points on guys with the best squads in the game. His only problem is his speed, but man, I love Brook Lopez base. And I prefer Brook Lopez base than Porzingis' Brook Lopez on quick. It's like, it's 29 all over again. 
I prefer 29 on normal speed than 29 on quick because it's the Kobe Bryant situation from last year where you start getting load ups on some releases that are on quick. So, especially on next gen anyway, where you get a lot of load ups when it releases on quick. So, Lopez release on normal is better than Lopez on quick. So, Carmelo Anthony. Melo has got. Melo's good. I like Melo. I, I really like Melo, especially on next gen. Like, I don't like him on current. I actually really like him on next gen. Like, I used him for the first time um, a couple of days ago, and his release is really nice on next gen. I don't think he's got his Ingram, though, so I'm going to put him B tier, but surprisingly, Melo, not bad. Sabahalos is awful. Sabahalos is awful. I'm sorry. Cedric Sabahalos is absolutely terrible. He doesn't do anything. Like, yeah, actually, sorry, he dunks. He dunks. I'm not going to take that away from him. The guy dunks the ball. But he can't shoot. He, he can't play defense. He only comes with 18 badges, although 10 of them are Hall of Fame. Like, yeah, he, he's got, literally, he's got half showtime without any showtime dunks. He's got base 10, which is awful. He's just an awful, awful card. You know what? Get down to lower tier. Alex English can at least hit a wide open. Cedric's boss can't. Bosch. I mean, you got to put Bosch top tier if, you, if I'm putting... If I'm putting Brook Lopez top tier, I'm putting Bosch top tier. It is preference you prefer. I prefer Lopez because I'm next. I prefer Lopez in general. Bosch, I just can't. I'm just not as consistent with him. Even though it's weird because Bosch is 29, which is one of my favorite releases in the game, and he's a lefty, so I should love this card. I'm just more consistent with Brook Lopez, and I prefer Brook Lopez's player build. But Bosch, really, really good center. Like these two guys are my centers for my next gen, for my team on next gen. And we got Chris Mullen. I mean, Mullen's just solid. He's a three and D cone. Like, he is what he is. That's all I'm going to say. Like, he is what he is. He's fine. He's fine. He's a decent card. Decent little card. Like, if you got him... When, at the time when you got him, he was very, very good. Like, he was really good when he came out. He was, like, one of the best players at his position. But he's, like... I think he's silver range. Yeah, he's a lefty, but... Like, stats and stuff, he's just kind of a bit out... He's just a bit outdated at this stage. But he's not a bad card. CJ McCollum. Um... D tier. He's actually underrated. He's got a good release, can curry and can move a little bit. Can't play defense, but he's underrated in offense. Clyde Jexler. I mean, badged up Clyde. So we're not talking about value here. Badged up Clyde. I mean, badged up Clyde's A. I really like badged up Clyde. His release is really good. He dunks quite. He dunks really, really well. And when he badges him up, he plays defense because he's got good length. He's good. David Robinson. Yeah, he's a step above Bam and bio. He is definitely, in my opinion, a step but bam. D-Rob can move a little bit. It's not like he's this super fast center, but he can move a bit. Um, he's good into inside. His player build is huge. And I am expecting um, a David Robinson in the next few weeks, a Galaxy Opal version, or at least a Pink Diamond version of him, where it will be enough an upgrade that you'll be seeing a lot of people using him online. I have a feeling we're going to get a D-Rob very, very soon. DeAndre Ayton. De is DeAndre Ayton... Are there any other centers that compare to DeAndre Ayton here? I don't think so. I think I got my tiers kind of set, but DeAndre Ayton is S tier as well. DeAndre Ayton, he's a different type of center to these guys right here. He's much better defensively. He's a much bigger player than Chris Bosch, and he does shoot the ball quite well as well, and can get range if needed. So for me, DeAndre Ayton belongs up here in S tier. Um, he's just a bully inside. His player build is huge. He can also shoot the ball really well. He's got really good length. Yeah, DeAndre Ayton. No question about it. No doubt about it, DeAndre Ayton. You belong right up here at the top with um, the other two centers in S tier. DeRozan. D. Not unusable, but he's D. I think that's the that's the best way I can describe DeMar DeRozan. Like, the card's fine. Is he great? No. Is he bad? No. Um, like, his release, especially if you were talking about next gen, it's fantastic. I reckon we're going to get a really, really good DeRozan later on in the year. But this card is not it. Darren Williams. I mean, he's one of those that was, like, probably overrated for so long that he's now underrated. I mean, I like him. Obviously, he can curry. He's got a good release. He, his movement is good. He's got a profile behind the bank. He is a card that I really like. Yeah, um, there was a stage where he was definitely um, one of the best point guards in the game, and that's no longer now. But as far as diamonds go, 
Like, he's really good. Like, I think... Like, I'm using Jared Jack in my team. Is he better? Like... Well, actually, no. I'm using Jared Jack in my only spent squad. But is Jared Jack better than Darren Williams? No, he's not. No, he's not. I think he's, like, a, a downgraded version of Baron Davis. I think that's the best way to describe him, is, like, downgraded Baron Davis. So... If you guys really like a Baron Davis, your Baron Davis, and you want another Baron Davis on your bench, Darren Williams is good for you. Like he's not, he was so overrated for so long that he's now become really underrated. He's a good card. Demantis Sabonis, I think Sabonis is a little bit worse than Boston Brook Lopez. I lo I really like Sabonis though. I'm just saying I really like Sabonis. I've a, like I've been a big big fan of that card anytime I've used him. Um, I like him on next gen. Apparently he's even better on current gen. I've used him for a couple of games, mainly in TTO, but you can tell with the card, he's fast, he rebounds well, and he'll hit wide open, as well as having range. Like, you can argue Sabonis to be top tier, but I think I think these three are just a little bit better than a Sabonis, so he's going A tier. And then we got Draymond. I'm going to leave Draymond to the end. I'm going to leave Draymond to the end, and I'll explain why. Um, because I don't know what tier to put him in. Drazen, I mean, is he is he obje he's objectively no better than Chris Mullen or no worse than Chris Mullen? Like both of them have moderately good releases. Both of them are just snipers. So, Drazen, you are going B tier. Eddie Jones, welcome to S tier. Eddie, welcome to S tier. It's been a while since we've had Eddie and S tier in a list, but he is S tier on this list. As far as diamonds go, he is elite. For, as far as value cards go, he is elite. He's one of the best value cards in NBA 2K21, my team right now. Probably a list I'm gonna make this weekend the top five best value cards, but I'm telling you, man, I am telling you, Eddie Jones is, he's nice. He's still nice. Yes, there are better cards than now. He's still class. This Giannis. This is going to be the most controversial one. I'm going this Giannis in B tier, this Yanis in C tier. I get it, you can like badge up this Yanis, and this Yanis is worse than this Yanis stats wise. However, who in their right mind is running Yanis at the small forward position? And also, this Yanis Antetokounmpo is the best cheap defensive center. He is about 20 KMT, the current series two Yanis, and he can lock down the likes of Anthony Davis and stuff. Especially if you are on next gen, like if you guys know, I have him literally, literally he's on one of my last three on the bench in case I come up against AD. And as soon as I come up against AD or if somebody's point centering a Boogie or point centering with Mikhail, I straight away just sub on Yanis and put Yanis to guard him. Because he is just, he stops any sort of mismatch problems. He can guard one through five. And just the way Yanis animations are, he hits shots. And shooting wise, they're very, very similar. Yeah, this Yanis is slightly better than this Yanis, but the ability to play the center position, which is a much better secondary position than small forward, because let's be real, who the hell is playing Giannis small forward? This Giannis is very comparable to this Simmons um, on both gens. However, Giannis Pink Diamond, or Giannis Diamond current series two on next gen especially, is such a good card at what he does. He is a specialist card, defensive center, and as far as defensive centers go, if you aren't able to get Maurice Lucas, if you're not able to get one of the top pink diamonds, Giannis is that dude. And like even, you can, might argue DeAndre Ayton, but I'm telling you, Giannis just moves faster laterally. Uh, Ayton can't deal with AD. Glenn S tier. Glenn is the example of his release on quick is, his release on normal timing is better than Danny Granger's on quick. And it's because Danny Granger has a weird bit of a load up. Um, so yeah, um, Glenn, Glenn's just Glenn. He's like, where's the version of Zion? And it's weird, like, there are, like, tiers to this. Like, I don't think you can really compare Glenn to Kurolenko, but I think Kurolenko is in, like, a t could be in a tier by himself. I think I might do that. I think I might move a bunch of people down tiers. Because I do think there is a there is enough of a gap between some of these cards. So, Sabalos, you go down. DeRozan, you go down. You guys stay. Uh, You go down as well. I love this card, but you go down. Okay, Bosch down, Lopez down, Glenn down, as much as I love Glenn, D-Rob down, Ingram down, Sabonis, yeah, that looks a bit better, that looks a bit better, and Bam, you got him, because Bam is not on the same level as David Robinson. 
yeah, that looks a little bit better right there as far as tiers go. Maybe seeing these two snipers move down, but I'm fine with it. Gordon Hayward, I mean, he shoots the ball well. I think I'm going to have to move these guys down because they all kind of do the same thing. When Gordon Hayward's badged up, they all just shoot wide open and hit shots. And there are so many guys in the game nowadays that do that and more. Like, even Norman Powell does more than any of these three guys. So, I think I'm going to put Norman Powell... Like, I'm just going to put them here because, like, Norman Powell's literally a locker count and he's better than them all. Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem's, like, D-Rob level. He's similar... He's close to being up a tier. He is very close to being up a tier. If you want to argue Hakeem up, Sabonis down, I'll give you that. I'm going to put Hakeem at this level. He's like better. He's like D-Rob, but slightly better in every way. Not much better. Slightly better in every single way. All right, let's, let's fill up some of these bottom tier players right now. Let's fill up some of these bottom tier. Um, we got Jerry Lucas, who I don't like because I cannot hit a shot with him. And because I cannot hit, hit a shot with the guy, the guy's D tier. Some people love him. I cannot hit... I will miss every shot with the chest pass, um, with his chest pass jumper, and he's got in the 30s in lateral quickness. Yeah, he's he's going D tier for me. I get it, he's got range, but yeah, he's, he's not it. He's not it. Magic Johnson, get in E tier. He's so slow. So slow. So, so slow. Go get an E tier. You are, he is a bad, bad card. He's a bad card. All right, we're trying to find some of the lower tier players now just to fill this one out. This is kind of getting kind of tricky because a lot of these guys are half decent. Um, Kiki Vandeweghe. Actually, I mean Jerry Lucas, you go down. Kiki Vandeweghe can hit wide open. Kiki Vandeweghe is going D tier. Jerry Lucas, I can't even hit wide open when he's slow. So and he's so slow, laterally. So yeah, he's going E tier. Kiki Vandeweghe going into D tier. Okay, so any other bad cards? Oh, this Rudy Gobert getting the wordless. Get into worthless. This Rudy Gobert brings nothing. He brings nothing. He's barely better than a Sapphire. I have not used him, but I know Rudy Gobert, and I know that this Rudy Gobert sucks. I've used the other Rudy Gobert, and you can tell that even playing with this guy, this Rudy Gobert is absolutely, absolutely horrendously bad. I mean, Vlade is not great. He's not as good as Sabone. Is Vlade getting the D tier? Hey, so we're starting to fill out the bottom tiers a little a bit nicely. James Harden getting the D tier as well. I like I like Harden next gen by the way. I'll say that much. I like Harden next gen. He is not he's basically the pink diamond harden. Put behind the back, good release. I like him next gen. Still though, like no clamps. He's a hologram and only borderline unusable in current gen. Okay. Okay. There's not enough of these guys. None of these guys stand out as awful cards for me either. But how Greer, a little bit small. A little bit small. Uh, if you know the, the cheese, the Hal Greer cheese, I think Hal Greer might belong in C tier. And if you guys don't know the Hal Greer cheese, there is a specific shot you can take with Hal Greer on next gen. And it, against the AI, that scores every time. Like, it's a two-point shot, but the AI cannot have it. Cannot guard it. He is a glitch shot. I've been, I was sent it by a viewer and I've been using it a little bit. I do not want to, um, to let it be known what exactly it is with just, and it's not even the badge. It is just how Greer, because I'm scared that it might turn out that the glitch shot can be done by freaking LeBron or something and it'll break the game. But there is a glitch shot with how Greer. Test him out. Just test him out, lads. If you're wondering why he's here, test him out. Trust me. Okay. Jamal Murray, A. Jamal Murray's better than Darren Williams when he has clamps. He's, he just is. He's just better than Jam um, Darren Williams. 6'4", handle, great dribble style, great release, range extender, can curry slide. He is fantastic. Like, he, he's a borderline S-tier player. He's borderline. I might end up moving him up to S. He is class, especially next gen. Next gen, he's a no-brainer S-tier player. Current gen, probably somewhere between. But, uh, well, we'll leave him A for now. He might go up. He might, might go up. Jeremy Grant... Uh, is Jeremy Grant B or is he A tier? Uh, he's definitely better than Giannis, the Giannis cards. But by the way, if you guys want to put the, both these Giannis cards higher, I'm perfectly fine with that. I hate him. I hate these Giannis cards with a passion. Jeremy Grant, I think his release is fantastic. Um, he's a really good defender. Can't really rebound, but I like him. Everything, like His only problem is he has no range. Jim Jackson, 
I mean, I didn't like him when I used him. D tier, I guess. Like, I don't remember hating him. I know he's got Grand Tail Release, which isn't great, but he's got... I mean, his stats and stuff are good. I only used him in the gameplay. What was it? My Marbles gameplay? And I liked him, so... He's just objectively not great. Joe Caldwell. This is a tricky one. Because his release is cash. His release is absolutely cash. Like, I will be the first to admit that about Joe Caldwell. The problems with Caldwell are everything else. He doesn't come with range. He doesn't come with clamps. But yes, you can give him both. Uh, let's be real. You can give the guy both. He's got a 79 three-pointer. Which is not ideal at all. But... I mean, he is fast. He's got half showtime. He's got two hot zones. I mean, if he can get away with that 78, say 78 three ball. Uh, I mean, I'll give him B. I'll give him B. I don't want to give him B. Actually, oh, he's a curry sliding base 98 player. I get it. You have to badge him up, but I'm giving him, I'm giving him A tier. I'm giving him A tier. I don't like it because you have to badge him up and he's not cheap. But, I mean, objectively speaking, he is pretty good. Starks. Um, B. I like Starks. Starks got a good release. Can't really dribble the ball. But once you give him quick first step, he's got a good release. Can dunk. He's like better Richie Green. He's B tier. Stockton. Yeah, Stockton, you go S. You're a Stockton's a step above these guys. Maybe not Jamal Murray on next gen. I think I might give Jamal... Nah, there's another point guard that I want to put in S tier more than I want to put Jamal Murray in. But Jamal Murray... Or John Stockton, fantastic. He's the best diamond point guard probably in the game on current gen. Next gen, I don't like him, but... Again, you obviously put a little bit more weight on current gen. I ignore, like people are people are literally telling me to put that I should discount next gen. I'm like, no, I, I play 90% of the time when I'm playing the game, I'm playing next gen. I literally play current gen when I'm on an account where I can only get on current gen. Or I play about an hour of current gen, an hour or two of current gen a week, just so that I'm a competent player and I kind of know what's going on in the game. Um So I'm not gonna discount next gen, but I also have to take into account um, the fact that most players are on current gen, so obviously current gen is where most of the list will be based on. So then we have got J.R. Smith S. Absolutely no question about it. J.R. Smith S. Half range, great release. Yeah, he's not a complete car, but he's class. He is class. Jawan Howard B. If he had a better release, he'd be an A, but he's got the ability to get basically every good badge, every good has decent stats, and his release is just garbage. That is the only reason he's down here. Kareem. He's like a tier below Hakeem and David Robinson. So, Hakeem, you go C tier. Hakeem is... Sorry, not Hakeem. Kareem. Kareem is a big, big body. He's got super speed. He's also an elite rebounder, great defender. It's just he can't shoot at all. And considering that most centers in this game have the ability to shoot, like, you've got David Robinson and Hakeem, which do mostly the same job as him on defense. They can both hit if they're left wide open. Yeah, I got to give them guys the advantage. Kevin Durant, I don't like him. I don't like him. He's like worse brand than Ingram. But I can't I can't put him below C tier. Like he is in that middle tier. I do not like him though. Larry Johnson. Another card like, yeah, when he's fully badged up, the guy's fine. Like the guy is fine when he's fully badged up. But like... <sighs> doesn't do anything though. Like he's B tier. Like he's objectively fine. But I mean... Badged up Gordon Hayward does the same job. Let me put him C tier. LeBron C. Wherever it is, I, I can't rate LeBron that much different than this Giannis. They both have very, very similar flaws. And they both have very similar strengths. LeBron, yeah, he's a better shooter. But, like, Giannis is better at everything else. So, I think I'm going to put them both in C tier. Luka Doncic. Get in, get up into S tier. Base 29 on current gen. And Luka next gen is the beast. Um, Doncic, a fantastic, fantastic player. A guy that I think is really, really nice on both gens. Especially if you clamps him up on current gen. One of the best point guards in the game, in my opinion. And yeah, I don't think he's quite stocked on level on current gen. But on next gen, he's a lot better. And he is the guy that is keeping Jamal Murray out of S tier. Michael Red. I mean, he's just like a better version of Drazen Petrovic, Gordon Hayward, Chris Mullen. So let me put him in B tier. He's one of the best shooters in the game. Doesn't bring anything else except shooting. So B tier. Monte Ellis, A. He's like slightly worse John Stockton. 
Some people actually prefer Monte Ellis to John Stockton. I am not in those people, but if we're talking next gen, Monte Ellis is definitely better in Stockton, though. Like, Ellis is definitely better in Stockton next gen. Stockton is definitely better in current gen, but Monte Ellis, I really like him on next gen. He's really good. He's like a point guard, really Fernandez. Because obviously quite a bit smaller. Nick Batum. I, he's, he's better Jeremy Grant, so let me put him in B tier. He's not A tier. He really isn't. Every single player in A tier right now can get range extender. Um, every single player in A tier right now has either got has got moderately good dribble sticks and are either guys that are elite role players or um, can take over a game by himself. Nick Batum is a, an almost perfect role player. If Nick Batum could get range, he would be a god. Wait, am I wrong? I, th I need to check this up, actually. I need to actually check. If Batum can get range extender, then I am mistaken. And he can get range extender. Let me put range Nick Batum. I mean, give me S here. He's got four hot zones outside the 3.9 and an elite three ball. Unbelievably good dribble sigs. Great animations, as well as an elite player build. Uh, I don't know. I've... With range, I'll give him, I'll give him that. He's not better than Glenn. He's not better than Glenn. Oscar Robertson. Oh my, I forgot about this guard. He's awful. E tier. E tier. Not quite worthless, but he's E tier. Paul George. I mean, he's better, in my opinion, he's better than LeBron and Diamond Giannis. And KD, but he's still not great. He's C tier. He's bang smack in the middle of diamonds now. Paul Pierce. I mean, you got that tier as well, I guess. Basically, the pink diamond. Flawed, but not a bad card. Like, he's a good card, don't get me wrong, he's just flawed. He's just flawed, and his biggest flaw is that his release is garbage. Like, he can't shoot from the corner on next gen. Sorry, on current gen, his release is the slowest in the game on next gen. Yeah, C tier. Westfall, no range and can't get range, but he can curry and plays good defense. I mean, give me Westfall over Stark, so B tier. B tier. Um, Yeah, I think, I think give me Westfall over any of these guys. And B tier as well. His own, like, he's literally, if he could get range of center, he'd be fantastic. Ray for Alston. One tier below Darren Williams. B tier. He's, again, a really good point guard. He's, like, taller Allen Iverson. And I like Iverson. He's, like, a, he's like Kyrie dribble saves with Iverson release. And moderately good stats. So, I like Alston a lot more than most people, but I'm putting Alston in B tier. Rip Hamilton. Rip Hamilton is, like, a, a 3 and D guy without range. But he's a really good defender. He's just like a, def a defender. He's a D player. Like he's a, he's a, it's hard to explain it because he can't hit the three well, but obviously three and D players in his game need to be able to shoot from deep, but he's like Paul George. He's like kind of similar level to Paul George. Rudy Fernandez, get into S tier. Here up, like again, even though I tried to make like an S plus tier, I mean, Rudy Fernandez, Karolenko, J.R. Smith, Aiton. And maybe Stockton are like a tier of their own right now. And we got Rudy. <sighs> Badged up is a tough one. Because he does cost quite a bit to badge up. Like, badged up, he's like a worse version of the dentist. Like, he's literally... Actually, is he? Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. He's basically a clone of the dentist. He's a, like a worse version of him. So, let me put Rudy in A tier. But he is quite a significant downgrade in the dentist, by the way. Rudy Gobert getting the B tier. Tim Duncan, wherever you are, you're basically the same card. You getting the B tier as well. Timmy D and Gobert will always be compared to each other. However, they're no longer used at all. Like Bosch and Brook Lopez and even the free Demantis Sabonis does the same job but better. So as much as I both of these as much as both of these guys um had their time in the sun, um like they're not great anymore. Westbrook. B tier, but he's gonna be good. His opal is gonna be good, lads. I'm telling you now, if you have a chance to get him in limited, get him because he's gonna be good. Scotty Pippen. Oh, badged up. He's not as good. Is he as good as Eddie Jones? Badged up. I'm starting to not like his release, and I don't like his release on next chance. I'm gonna put him A tier. But Scotty's really good. Badged up Scotty is a great, great two guard in this game. Or small forward, whichever you want to put him. He's just a great, great card. All right, body A. Wherever Rip Hamilton is, C tier. He's like better Bruce Bone, Ruby. Moncrief. I mean, the guy comes with no shooting badges. 
a D tier. Although he's like elite defensively, like badges and stats wise, he's also 6'3. So yeah, he's not it. But base 28, there's potential for a good Sydney Moncrief card later down the line. Terrence Ross. S tier next gen, B tier current gen. So let me let me put him high B tier. Because he's got Hoff Steady, which is not a great badge on current gen. Although I don't believe it's as bad as we make it out. However, Hoff Blinders on next gen is ridiculous. Also got some great dunk animations. A great release in my opinion. Base 70 on current gen is not ideal. But on next gen, it really is. Terrence Ross, a card that I'm a big, big fan of. Thurl Bailey getting to A. Thurl's nice, man. Thurl is really nice. He, for some reason, he's like LeBron. Um, for some reason, he can't curry on current gen. But he can curry on next gen. It's a really weird one. It's the exact same thing with the Opal LeBron James. But Thurl, really nice release. I don't like it on next gen. Or on current gen. Love it on next gen. Because... The upper doesn't seem to throw it off as much. He's got the James Worthy upper. Um, the Chris Webber diamond upper, which is like a chess pass. It's nowhere near as bad on Thurl as, for example, it is on Jerry Lucas. Because released on fast, maybe. That's why I don't mind it. But, yeah. Thurl in A tier. TJ Warren. I mean, he's B. He's actually not. Like, he's he's disappointing at this stage. He's not awful. Um, Tyreek Evans. I liked him when he came out. But I didn't like him over, say, a Paul George. So, D tier. Like he was a free card that came out in October and started in November, which is why I liked him. But maybe he came out in October, but like, I mean, he's nothing spectacular. Ty Lawson. I mean, is he, he's lower. He's either upper C or low B. Um, C, I don't like him. I don't like this card a lot. He's like Dino. He's like Mo Williams slash Dino clone a point guard but for some reason. He just not doesn't feel as good for me, and he's like under six foot tall. Zion is an obvious S tier inclusion right here, and Draymond Green. I've kind of fallen out. as much as I love Draymond Green on current gen. Like he's A tier, and also we got nine players in S tier. So what positions do we need? We got one point. We got two point guards. We got two, three two guards. We need another center up here, or I can throw in a power forward. I don't want to put in Glenn because Glenn is just objectively where Zion on next on current gen, but Glenn's way better on next gen. Um, I'm given, I'm given my favorite of all the centers just to make it an even ten and to make it that we have an, a full lineup of one through five and a full bench lineup. I'm putting my favorite center from A tier, which is Brook Lopez. If you want to put Bosh up, you want to put Sabonis up. I am not going to complain. So yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. This is the tier list of the best diamond cards in NBA 2K20 on my team. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.